Education Secretary Betsy DeVos grilled on Capitol Hill Tuesday about $18 million in proposed federal funding cuts to the Special Olympics. Do you know how many kids um, are going to be affected by that cut, Madam Secretary? Um, Ms. Mr. Pocan, uh, let me just say again, we had made we had to make some okay. difficult decisions with this budget. Again, this is a question and of how many kids, not about I the budget. I don't know the number okay. of kids. It's 272,000 kids. Kids like Lake County's Deepwood dancers. I got this feeling inside my bones. They won gold and silver medals during the Special Olympic World Games in Abu Dhabi this month. The proposed cuts upsetting to Special Olympics Ohio officials in Columbus. I spoke with via FaceTime. It would be pretty devastating to our athletes, our partners, our staff and families across Ohio if this funding would be would be lost. Special Olympics Ohio says they stand to lose $125,000, money used for more than sports. We promote inclusive practices, uh, inclusive options, and we're really that resource and sounding board for those school districts to, to kind of get ideas of how to promote um, and include individuals with disabilities throughout the day. The Special Olympics Ohio CEO sent a statement that reads in part, while it is impossible at this moment to imagine the potential impact of this proposed budget on our 22,000 athletes, it is certain that it would hinder the progress made toward ushering in a new world of unity, tolerance, and respect. In Ohio, if we don't receive that that federal support and that, that grant from um, Special Olympics North America, uh, that program will um, eventually erode away. Creating an uncertain future for thousands of Ohio athletes with intellectual disabilities served by the Special Olympics. It's 272,000 kids Special Olympics that are affected. Is an awesome organization, one that is well supported by the philanthropic sector as well. Sure.